girl, the teenage girl, she sees the other girls in her school. And in the best scenario, it's a school that doesn't have free mixing, although there's nothing like that in this city. And a, a, a school for teenage, where a teenage girl can go, a Muslim girl can go, and there's not free mixing with boys and men. Allah al-Musta'an. But in the best case scenario, maybe, a girl can be in a situation where she's in a Muslim school that's not run by people who are يعني, upon the aqeedah and the manhaj of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Her friend doesn't cover her feet. Her friend doesn't cover her face. Her friend, and he wears a khimar with Tommy Hilfiger jeans and a tight shirt that grabs onto her bosoms. So what happens? She goes out the house one day, you didn't see her, she wasn't wearing socks. It starts with socks. We've seen that happen. A sister, and he says, I don't know of any proof that says I don't have to cover my feet. Somebody says, that's harmless. Annie, it's just her feet. Annie, she probably has any corns and bunions on her feet and stuff anyway. Annie, it's, they're not attractive. Annie, what, what does it matter whether, whether or not she covers her feet? There wasn't a difference between the scholars at any time and any place that a woman had to cover her feet, either with a garment that was long enough to cover her feet or by wearing socks. None of the scholars differed over that on the four madhabs. None of them. None of them. We don't know of a single statement of the Sahaba, the Salaf, the Tabi, the Tabi'in, the Tabi Tabi'in that says that the scholars differed over whether a woman had to cover her feet. But she thinks that it's something she has an option in. So it starts with her feet. And we're not saying this theoretically, we're saying this is something that we've seen happen. It starts with her feet, and then she has a baby by a kafir the next year. How did you go from this to that? It reminds us of the statement of, a, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Musa said to his people, أَتَسْتَبْدِلُونَ الَّذِي هُوَ أَدْنَى بِالَّذِي هُوَ خَيْرٍ إِحْبِتُوا مِصْرًا فَإِنَّا لَكُمْ مَا سَأَلْتُمْ Will you exchange that which is least, that which is less for that which is, in the place of that which is better? Allah had given the people food, manna wa salwa from the heavens. Food from the heavens that none of the people was eating. The people, they said, we want to go down to the land and see what the people have of lentils and onions and so on and so forth. Musa, he said, will you exchange that which is least in place of that which is better? Go down to any land and you'll find what you're asking for. What did Allah say after that? وَضُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِ مُضِلَّةُ وَالْمَسْكَنَةُ وَبَعُوا بِغَضَبِ مِنَ اللَّهِ He said, and humiliation and ignominy was placed upon them. And they incurred the wrath and the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. ذَلِكَ بِأَنُّهُمْ كَانُوا يَقْتُلُونَ الْأَنْبِيَاءَ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ وَبِمَا كَانُوا يَعْتَدُونَ that is because they killed the prophets and the messengers without a right and because they used to oppress the people. And Shaykh Abdul Rahman al said, look at how Allah mentioned this and then mentioned that. It started with the people, yani just wanting something that was less beneficial, having low aspirations. These low aspirations led them to minor sins, led them to major sins, led them to kufr, led them to shirk, led them to killing the prophets and the messengers and transgressing against one another and against the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's nothing light in the religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna sanulqi alayka qawlan thaqila. Indeed, we are going to cast upon you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a weighty and tremendous word. Imam Malik, he was asked about an issue. And he said, La adri, la adri, la adri. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. A man kept asking him and asking him. He said, Look, I don't know. He said, Innaha mas'alatun khafifa, sahla. He said, This is an issue that's light and it's easy. Why you keep saying you don't know? You don't have any answer for me? Fastaghdaba. And he, that upset Imam Malik. He said, Laysa fiddin shayun khafif. There is nothing light in the religion. أَوَلَا سَمِعْتَ قَوْلَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَىٰ إِنَّ سَنُلْقِي عَلَيْكَ قَوْلًا ثَقِيلًا 
Haven't you heard the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Indeed, we are going to cast a weighty word upon you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everything in the Quran, everything in the Sunnah is heavy. It's heavy. So it starts with something light. You take a light, who your children take to be friends. They associate any in the school, any the person that they spend the night at their home. And do all sorts of things that you know that they would not be allowed to do in your home. And you just turn a blind eye. Is that mudara or is that mudahana? And is that diplomacy or is that compromise? I mean, is this something I mean, that has hikmah in it? Is it wisdom and you're doing that for the good of your child? Or are you doing it because you're a coward? How will the Muslims ever be successful when they're afraid of their children? How will we be afraid of our children? So the Shaykh, he said, uh, Shaykh Abdullah Jarallah, he said it is mandatory upon the parents to guarantee that their children have righteous friends who know the truth and who follow the truth and that they warn their children from having evil associates. And those evil associates become bad I mean, accomplices. Any, and you see the people any, in the same jail cell, Muslims, in the same jail cell. Any, they were Muslim children that were playing in the masjid. Like our brother Abu Ways, rahmatullah alayhi, he said, any, we see them when they're three and they're four, reciting the Quran and praying like malaika, like angels. And you couldn't imagine anything more beautiful from the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than these little Muslim children reciting their fatiha, prostrating, two, three years old. We see it all the time. Little girl, she wants to wear the hijab and be like her mother. And he, the children, they, they, they emulate their parents. And they want to be the best people they can be. And either three, four-year-olds are like that. And when they're 14, 15, 16-year-olds, they're like shayateen. 